Good morning, uh, Year 4. So today, uh, we're building upon um, Scratch, what you've been doing before. Um, we're just going to do a little bit more today. So we've, we've done several things um, over the last couple of weeks. And today I want you to go onto Scratch, as I've got here. And we've done this before. Hopefully you will have logged in at this point. If not, then, then please log in. And then you go into Ideas and you're going to choose a tutorial. And you're going to click on this one here. This is what we're going to do now. Use your arrow keys. Now, what we're essentially going to do is create a little um, character. I, we can do our character and we're going to make it so that the character can move left, can move right, can move up and can move down. So if you follow the instructions on the bottom here, it tells you how to do it. So first of all, we need a character, which we have. We've got the sprite here, as we've done in, in the past. If you don't want to use that character, you can use another character. That is fine. Remember to do another character. You click on this one to choose a sprite. You can create or paint or do any one of the ones you want. You can change the size of the X, size of the character and the direction and so forth. So we're going to follow the instructions. So we're going to make it so that when you click the left, the right key, the character goes right. When you click left, they go left. And when you click up, they go up. And when you click down, they go down. We go on to the events and we click on when the key is pressed. In this case, we're going to say when the right arrow is pressed, then what I want you to do is change the X position by 10 carat 10 pixels. Now remember that your X is your horizontal line. So the line that goes from left and right and your Y is going up and down. If you put a positive number in X, it means you're going right. If you do a negative number, it means you're going left and the same with Y. If it's a positive number, it means you're going up. If it's a negative number, it means you're going down. So in here, we're going to do another one, as it says here. So right arrow, key pressed, go by 10 to the right. If it's a left press, then we're going to go 10 to the left. So we go on to our change X and we put in there, double click in there, minus 10. So now we've done the left and arrow key. So that's fine. We're going to do the up and the down now. Now, for this one, I want the cats to go left and right, but I'm going to do a different sprite for the up and the down. I'm going to create it for a rocket. So let's find rocket. If I do rocket, I'm sure it's there somewhere. Here we go. And I'm going to do different ones for this one. So I'm going to say um, when I go up, I'm going to go and change my position, change character X by Y by 10. And then when I go down, I'm going to change my Y by minus 10. Okay. So now we've gone 10 up and 10 down. OK, let's see how it works. So I click on um, I'm going to move these around a bit. So I've got my rocket and my cat. So that's the code for the cat. That's the code. That's the code for the cat. Sorry, that's the code for my rocket. So I'm going to run it and see what happens. So if I do that, the cat goes and if I go up and down, the rocket goes up and down. OK, so. Have a go at doing that one, stage one. 